lockdown's finished. Thank God. It does seem weird. It does seem weird. I'm back. If you look, I think you'll know where I am. Um, back at my little Soul Fleet spot. I ain't gone travelling yet. I'm waiting till end of the month. Just a bit skint this month because I've been investing so much money. But if you look behind me, campers. Seems weird camping. There was about three of them last night. And it's only sort of Thursday at the moment. So maybe some more. No, there's another one turned up actually today. Four. But yeah, just seeing other campers, it's so strange. Because <laughs> when I've had this spot, the whole lockdown, you know, for nearly a year now. And, you know, don't see anyone. Any, you know, like a few of the, my group members from the emergency rescue group. You know, odd, odd people coming down with the dogs. It seems strange. So, but liberating at a time that people are out and now the holiday makers are all here as well because obviously this is a campsite area along the coast here um i drove past the pub last night with all the outdoor tables at the the salt fleet in the wind and it was just packed and it was like yes you know people are getting back to life getting their lives back on again so yeah gorgeous morning um, a little bit of black clouds in the sky behind me but wind's not too bad Right, sun's out, it's nice on your face. Do your quick little spin round. So, yeah, that's where we're parked. So you can just see a few trucks over there. Yeah, lovely. So, hopefully, now, um, I mean, my, that's this, you know, my only other worry now is with all these lockdowns. God, no. Eyes are watering. Oh, just got up a lot longer. Is every parking spot I go to is going to be rammed? <laughs> because campers all through this lockdown, you know, everyone's doing it. People can't go abroad. It's totally understandable. You know, van life now has become a such a popular thing. You know, it's one of them releases for people i don't blame people to be honest i know it's going to be hard for everyone and you know and there's a lot of van life is going to kick off but you can't help it everyone's you know there's no i know this thing you know just because i can't like i'm a full-time van lifer i can't stop anyone else coming into that spot because oh it's free for all everyone's got the rights don't matter if you've got a house or not so hopefully people then, you know, just tidy up after him. I mean, I've got to this spot. I don't know if you look back on some of my other videos. Um, I've no, I put, I did put pictures on. Uh, the council have been putting up new signs and there's some nice new Solfleet Haven. It was like a big picture on some nice big oak um, framework with like a map of this area. It shows you like a contour of this area, like a picture. Give you details of what birds are here. Vandalised, gone. And that's done by locals because that was done in the lockdown. So, you know, it's the same as the gates here. I don't know how much they cost, but they've put two sets of metal gates up to stop uh, the motocrossers and bikes and stuff coming up here. And we know it's a, a local guy. I mean, I've, he's near enough admitted it online. So, yeah, he come, you know, it's been still sawed and chopped up. This, this is a problem, but it, it, it reflects bad on campers because they go, oh, it's the campers. And it wasn't, it's locals. I've, you know, I've watched locals come here dumping. I've had no end of, you know, goes, watched one guy, quite a famous one, right go at him, him and his girlfriend or wife, just threw chips, um, you know, whole bag full of, you know, they're eating chips in the car and just threw the whole lot out the window into the car park in front of everyone with no care whatsoever. That's the problem with society. It's terrible. So, yeah, hopefully we can, everyone can be nice. Enjoy the spaces you've got. This is what I don't understand. You know, you come out of these lockdowns, you've been trapped in a house all the, you know, for every year type thing. A lot of people have. Respect what you're going to. Or just, should we just lock them all up in houses again? Well, I don't know. So anyway, rambling. Just gets me sometimes, you know, because I enjoy. And I'm privileged, you know, I feel privileged that, you know, I was lucky enough to be able to still move around and see these beautiful spots. And we just don't want them getting destroyed. 
So, right, back, go to the camper, got the boys with me. Got my oldest one again. He's not doing well, bless him, with his mental health. It, it's getting worse. So we're still fighting, try and get him the help he needs. So we're just getting let down by his doctors now. So, but yeah, he had a bit of a meltdown last night. So it's normally every day now. <laughs> so yeah, going to sort him out with some food. And uh, we'll come back to you in a bit. We're also not sure what's happening this weekend, where I'm going to. Just waiting on someone to come collect my old tyres and then I can... I'll have some pennies. Um, probably end up down to Hut Off. Around that area. We don't know yet. But we'll catch you later. Alright guys, we moved from the last spot. Uh, we gave the beach Thanks a bit of a miss this weekend because it's going to be ram solid. <laughs> So yeah, we've come back inland and we've come to another spot which is in one of my videos, Halloween. So we're back in Woodall Spa and we've um, got the boys. So we're just out geocaching now. I found one. I found it. And you found it, didn't you? So we yeah. just found one. Let's save our hedgehogs. Pull it out then. So yeah, save our hedgehogs. And you just found that looking up under the under where it was. Saw the camo bag. Yeah. So there's a few more around here. We're going to start checking. We, we couldn't find them last time. We didn't even say it was here either. No. So took that back under there. Cover the bits of wood up, Lou, and no, hide it. it. Yeah, I know, but we can hide it. That's the idea. You hide it so nobody sees it. Not that's too much. Yeah. It's got to be... you got to make it tricky. You don't want someone to steal them. That's the thing, because mm. other kids can come past. Go, what's that? And just steal it. That's all right, that's better. You can just see the camera. So, yeah, just come down to these woods. Don't know if we'll get any police visits. We're going to risk a night here. Well, I know we had one. We stayed here three nights last year. How long are we staying there today? Uh, just for tonight. We might go down back to the airbase when we watching the planes flying over. So Because obviously we're just staying local the next couple of weeks. Like I said, I've got to get back to Laos Sunday. Um, guys come to pick up the tyres, so a bit skint, like I said, at the moment. So, but yeah, crypto's going up through the roof, but it's all trapped. Can't take it out. <laughs> so yeah, we're just, the boys are going out into the woods, doing a bit of bug out in. You've got your bug out bag and mine's in the back, you know, the big one. So, yeah. I've got mine, yeah, it's loads. Yeah, so you two boys are going to... Get back to nature again. And you're going to sleep out tonight, apparently, aren't you both? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? So. I'm not sleeping outside of the people. Yeah, sleep in the middle of the woods. There we go. That's about it, guys. We'll catch Maybe. you later. It's a hodgeg. A hodgeg. Hedgehog oh, series of all little hedgehogs hidden. Now, this is one we tried finding last time. Right? We couldn't find none last time, could we? So we know now that the geo GPS isn't very accurate because we were looking sort of over there, like sort of a good 10 foot away. Here we go. So yeah, that's where we found it. It's hidden under this sapling. So yeah, right, we'll get that one logged and we'll go and find some more. Here we go. In a forest near Spa. Which one we got today? It's, what's it called? Prince Harry? Yeah. <laughs> Prince Harry Ginger. <laughs> so yeah, we found it hanging. Yeah. Fair enough. How many did you say there was in there? 64? No, it was about 10 I think. 10. So, but they're all hedgehog ones. Yeah, so we found it hanging up in I'll that little bag there. Yeah, come on. Alright, you can find Why the next one. I'm right. Right, back again. We're going to find some more. How cool is this? I've been busy here. This is something like I want to do, like on a plot of land. Isn't it, kids? So we have like a little uh, cooking area. Make it, with, get a big tripod. Proper stones in the middle there for a proper fire. Logs round it. Build like a sort of shelter to go round. I mean, this is lucky because we've got four big trees right around. You could even, you know, even do hammocks. You could do all sorts here. But great for a bit of off-grid, isn't it? I'm wondering if this is where, in the lockdown, there was about eight kids in tents 
because there's bases all over, all got nicked down here. <laughs> so maybe there was here because the fire, them logs look a bit burnt. Just a bit. So yeah, pretty cool. Never saw this. We never saw this last time. Unless it's been built recently. So yeah, some good Ooh. ideas. Yeah, we're back out again. So we've just come back out after tea, and we just found one. That hint our hint was, no, no you won't get you won't tube. get toothpaste out of this tube. And then, so that was quite an easy one actually to find. And another red dog, <laughs> and then his bum is, is where they keep all the geocache, all the I can't have broken this right one. in and uh, log book to say about log book it. And stuff. <laughs> I know there's quite a few of us now, quite a few uh, van, dri van drivers, van lifers and stuff are going around doing it. It just breaks the day up, it's good fun. Got a pen? Yeah, oh, you got a pen, you can fill that one in. Yeah, we still forgot to break, get a pen from the van. What do you say, Rex? Hey? Let's go out and sleep. Well, I think we found where they make all the base, all the little dens. They're everywhere. <laughs> You're going to break a leg now. Yeah, there's loads. They're all over. They're dotted all over the place. Kids heaven and big adults. <laughs> so what we got this time? What's this one? A mummy hedgehog, is it? Yep. This is really fun. <laughs> and that was, the hint for that one was a uh, silver log pile. I'm looking up. I just looked down in that alleyway and there's some logs. And I went, hey, go down there. But we have been searching, a bit confusing because there's all these branches with like silver birch stuff I think it is. So I thought it was under there. I'm going to name it Katie. So we found one, haven't we? Oh, hang on, we need your photograph now. Uh, Alright, where's this next one? Oh, that was a good one. Was a I didn't even see, see him hiding one. up there. <laughs> well, we can leave him up there if you want. Yeah. We found him. I get it, it's a Superman one version. Oh, actually, no, because we need to get your photograph with him, don't we? Oh, I can't get in. Oh, I see, he's got the string up there as well. I think there was high hanging him. Hanging? <laughs> ah, he's a Superman one. Yeah. That oh, was the tip. Good. There we go. They've coloured Superman on him. We'll get a photograph. Did you find it? <laughs> ah, right, we'll cover it up, actually. We'll, yeah, we'll make it a little bit harder to find. Uh, yeah, there you that. go. The tr was in a log. What, which uh, one have we got? Really it's a Harry Potter one. I it's a Harry Potter red dog. <laughs> and uh, they've obviously put the. Oh, it's got a bit broken. Yeah, it's a bit broken. So that's the last one. So yeah, bit of fun. I think it was seven, is it, in total we found? Yeah. So, well, that's wasted a bit of the day away and gave us a bit of exercise, hasn't it? So, I mean, they're great, these little geocaches for adults and kids. Just gives you something to do. If you're out on your own with a dog, um, I mean, we, it's a free app. I've just downloaded it. It's the main geocache one. But you can upgrade. How much is it to upgrade? It's, um, £50 it's £7 a year. 7 99 every three months. Seven ninety nine for three months. Every three months. Then you, it, it gives you extra bits. Because there is stuff which don't like, highlight. You get extra geocaches and stuff. Yeah. Like, a lot of them are great. Which but I've just access. got the free one on my phone. And it, you just, wherever you're parked up when you're camping, just click it on, see if there's anything around it. When you're walking the dogs or sort of just have for a little wander, just go and find them. I mean, it's, there's loads of adults we bump into <laughs> doing it. It's all good fun. So, right. Go and see if we can have a little wander back to the truck now. And we'll catch you guys later. So here's my little spot for the night. Last night I did. Gorgeous. There was no one here. So it's been on one of my videos before, out in Lincolnshire. Uh, it was last Halloween I came here. But yeah, it was gorgeous, lovely day today. So I don't know where we're heading to today. Kids maybe want to go to the beach, but I've got a feeling it's going to be absolutely rammed. So we will see. But uh, yeah. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Great for biking here. Same the kids haven't got their bikes. Can't leave them on their own. They'll kill themselves. <laughs> right. Breakfast time.
Right, so we moved to a new spot just down the road. This is uh, just outside Tattershall. So we're on an old abandoned bridge. Uh, they do narrow boats down here. This is the, actually the river which our boat was moored on. Is it? My narrow boat, yep. This, um, this goes all the way up to Lincoln. Yeah, this is the river with them. It goes all the way down to Boston. There's Millie and our little park up. There's, that's a little dead end road, it's only a small bit. So we may stay there the night, but we're going to do some magnet fishing. Stay there the night? Possibly. Come we in and look at magnet fishing in the morning? Yeah. So we're going to do some magnet fishing off uh, the old pontoons there. Oh, I just saw a fish. So, I'm seeing a fish. But yeah, here's the road. It, this is just being an old road coming through this village, and obviously they built a new one. Fishing. So there used to be a pub on the corner here last time I was here. But now it's a barber's, so... Next time we come here, can I bring my fish in while I'm first? Yeah. Because I've seen loads of fish in the spot. It's a popular little fish spot. So, right, we'll go and get all the equipment out, guys. I don't know if anyone else does any magnet fishing. We'll show you what we do. So here we go. We've got some strong cables. These are our magnets we use. Uh, these were rated, I think, the 130 kilos, weren't they? They would pull up. Not yeah. 132 kilos. Oh, what's he got? He's got something. He's got something metal. Some... <laughs> what the hell is that? I don't know. I don't know what it is. The first pull. Yeah. Oh, it's, it looks like a bit of something electrical. Is yeah. it a grenade? No. Stop. I don't want to know that. So, first find of the day. But with this being a, um, where narrow boats are, you can often get things like mobile phones, all sorts dropped in. Uh, we know that, don't we, Lewis? Uh, my phone. Yeah, where, where was your mobile phone? Right next to the bank. <laughs> Dropped in the canal. Brand new as well. Yeah, brand new iPhone. And then this one uh, nearly fell into the canal when I first got my boat. And uh, what happened to my phone? Uh, Smashed to bits as I dropped it trying to grab him. Boat yeah, so mobile phones and narrow boats didn't mix very well. But uh, yeah, this is the first time out. I would say this is a good one now. Oh, I got a one p. You got a penny. I got a penny. Way. Find a penny, pick it up, and I'll bet on you. There you go. Hey, we're doing, we're doing all right. Last time we was out, we was finding guns and gun cartridges, weren't we? I'm the only one that's ever found guns here. That's a gun. I would drag along there, Lou, along the edge, because that's where things drop in between the boats. Oh man, I got some. Oh. Right, this might be a fun day. Right, we'll come back to you in a bit, guys. Right, so we moved on again. That last spot was a rubbish reception. So we're now at near Reesby. We're parked up here. And then over there, you've got all the big runways. Uh, this is where the Lancaster um, bombers are all. They're actually stationed as a museum just behind these trees. And they use part of this runway, we can't actually see them from here. But it's just over there, so just behind them buildings, um, is where they do the Lancaster runs. And they actually start them up and run them up, taxi them up and down the motorways. The motorways, up the runways. So as you can see, we're still, there's some of the old run, runways. Ugh. And it goes all over. A bit of farmland taking over now. But yeah, there's a nice big piece there, and there's loads of travellers up here, there's some proper travellers up the top there. But we kept out of the way, just kept down here, so you can see in the distance there. So yeah, we're parked up here. Got full internet, so it's quite a little back road, it's like a single track road. So, boys are up on the roof. Just a shame there's no planes flying today. Alright, here we go at the third location today. Oops. So I'm talking Millie at the moment. God, them solar panels need a good clean. So yeah, we're back at Hut Off, down there Skeggy. They've got all the machinery out here. They're all doing this pumping. I'll put the sand up onto the... Back onto the beaches. Got boats all over the place. The boys are out metal detecting. But yeah, obviously you can see them at the bottom there digging. 
So yeah, we've just got parked up at the little bit here. Hopefully they're going to find me some treasure. What's he found? It's Lewis's first time on the metal detector, so hopefully he's going to find something and get the buzz for it. <laughs> no buzz. So what have you just found? What was... He's got his first gold. That was only, what, 15 minutes out? You lost it now. You've dropped it back in the sand, you're going to have to find it again. Oh, we'll find it when we get back. You got it? First gold, bank coin. <laughs> now we need a load more of them for fuel money. <laughs> and, and a nail or something, are you? A bit of tin foil and a nail. Well, we don't really need cool that, we just weight. need the gold. And I got a really cool fishing rate. Oh, and a fishing rate, yeah. Like perfect bamboo condition as well. Right, get looking. You've got to earn your pennies for food. <laughs> Not what you expect on the beaches. <laughs> Some little D6s. So they'll be going down the other end there to level out the sand they're pumping up. The big one at the front is for picking up the pipe. Uh, yeah. What the bloody hell is that noise? We've got the boats out here. Ah, oh, my view. Right, night time at Hutoff. If anyone doesn't know and comes down here to Hutoff, Hutoff's a bit of a funny place, I've said it in my last videos. So, at night, you park up along this little road here. It's just the road between here and the main road. There's loads of room on the side. Um, the reason for that, it's like a no man's land, this road. Uh, I got confirmation from the police uh, when I was first started full time in that it was okay along here. They'd, they'd allowed others to stay, so they couldn't sort of say no. And they stayed here all lockdown, all last year. So, yeah, normally just up there, set a little hut. That's onto the beach, but uh, there's been a bit of an issue with. Oh, can you see me? Been an issue with um, tickets and stuff, uh, but they haven't really ever given out any parking tickets for years. It's more of a warning letter to pass out. So, just an update. Just park this on the road. All the building work they're doing is turning into the beach cafe, the boat shed, hut off boat shed. So uh, this is all where they're doing, that's where the toilets used to be. Still going to use them, but they're shut now. But yeah, just started doing some work. I think it's about a £300,000 build. So, but it's going to transform the spot down here. So we're going to check out now how many's on the beach still. Oh.